Hey guys, welcome back. In the last lecture, we created question model in Rails and an API endpoint to fetch the collection of all the questions from database. Now in this lecture, we need to use this API endpoint and then display the fetched data on the browser using React component. So in short, if I say in this lecture, you will learn how to fetch data from an API endpoint and then display it into a React component. So here we're going to use the fetch API and we also need to use some react hooks like use state and use effect. We already work with the use state hook to manage the state into a function component and we already know that how it works. If you did not know or missed that lecture, then you can find the link of that lecture into the description of this lecture. So in this lecture, we will discuss only the use effect hook. Okay, but before discussing the effect hook, let, let's import both use state and use effect. So open your question list component into React and then add at the top of the component use state and use effect. So let's switch to the project directory. Okay, and here you can see that this is the question list component. And what I need to do here that after importing React, I need to import the use state and use effect hooks. Okay, so just write import and then use state and then use effect use effect and from react yeah, I write again form just make it from and then react okay save this and then inside the component function let's set the state okay here we will use the question list as the state and we will fetch the data from the rails api and then we will set this question list okay so what we need to do now to create the state variable so let's in, switch into the question list component and in this component you can define const and here we need to add two variables that will be question list question list and what we do with question list that set question list we need to use the set question list to add the updated state okay so set question list okay, this will be the updated list of the question that we will get from the Rails API. Okay, so set questions list and now what we need to do that we need to set the initial state of this question list. So we can use use state and then here we can assign the empty array. Okay, and save it now. This will save the initial value of question list array as an empty collection of questions. Okay, and now what we need to do, we need to add the URL here as well. And what is the URL that uh, we need to add the URL from where we get all the question into the JSON data. Okay, so what we need to do here, you can add a const and then you can add questions URL. Questions URL. Okay, and what is the questions URL we have? So we can add HTTP and then localhost for 3000. And then here we can add API, then V1 and then questions. Send, save this here no need to mention but make sure that you provide a valid url here else you might get incorrect data or if there are some errors then you can get that too okay now we will call the fetch api to get the data from rails api endpoint okay but before calling the fetch api let's discuss a bit about the fetch api and how it works okay so the fetch api provides a javascript interface for accessing and manipulating parts of the http pipeline such as requests and responses it also provides a global fetch method that provides an easy logical way to fetch resources asynchronously across the network okay and here is the example of how to using fetch api okay so in the example you can clearly see that the fetch api accepts an argument which is the rest api endpoint and from where you can get the collection to show in the react component okay in this fetch api we will set the question list state by api response we get okay so let's implement a function for the same i mean let's implement this fetch api into our question list component okay so what you need to do is again switch to the question list component and first just minimize this existing question list dummy array and just comment this line okay so because now we will deal with the dynamic data or from the api response data okay so just comment this and here what we need to do we need to define a function so you can add const and then 
फंक्शन नेम सो वी कैन नेम आवर फंक्शन इज लेट्स से फेच क्वेश्चन लिस्ट ओके सो लेट्स राइट द नेम हेयर फेच क्वेश्चन लिस्ट और फेच क्वेश्चन लिस्ट ओके एंड जस्ट डिफाइन द आर्ग्यूमेंट लिस्ट एंड द मेथड बॉडी हेयर and inside this method body we need to add the we need to use the fetch api so what we can use here fetch and then we need to provide this question url to the fetch okay so just copy this question url question url name and here what you need to do fetch question url okay and then here you can use then and then just add the response so response okay and here you need to use response dot json okay response dot json okay and then what you need to do next is the data here data now we will use this data to display on the create component okay so what we can use here console dot log data this and here you can now set this set question list value okay so you can use set questions list so set questions list and then provide the data here okay sorry data now what will happen when you call this fetch question list function that uh, whenever this function get called your fetch api will go use this url as the argument okay this uh, http local or 3000 and then api v1 questions okay and then it will fetch all the existing data okay here we mentioned in the questions controller so it will fetch the entire questions collection into the questions list and here it sets the state of question list okay or you can say that it updated by the dynamic response that we get from the api okay now since we implemented the fetch api to fetch all the questions data from the rails api now we need to implement the use effect hooked into our component but for what purpose this hook is used for so let's understand that by using use effect you tell react that your component needs to do something after render react will remember the function you pass and call it later after performing the dom updates in this effect we will call the fetch questions api function okay in our case okay in our case in the question list controller we will implement this use effect and in this effect we will call the fetch question list function which is ultimately call the fetch api okay and use effect hook need to be used within the component because using the use effect hook inside the component let us access the question list state variable right from the effect okay and by default it turns both the first render and after every update you mean whenever your controller gets render first time use effect work and after every update or whenever your controller a component make any update into the dom structure then use effect will take place okay and i will also add a reference link to learn more about the use effect hook and that is the official react document okay about the if use effect hook okay into the description of this lecture you can visit and learn more about the use effect hook from there okay for now, let's implement this hook into our component right after the fetch API call. So what we need to do here, we will implement our use effect. So let's use use effect. Okay. And this should be a function. And here we need to implement the body and into this body, what we will do that we will call this fetch question list method. Okay. So just copy this and paste here okay and now we need to set the empty array here and save this and that's it okay now we will this is all that we need that we wanted to done that uh, we need to face the api from the rails okay and get the data dynamic data from the database and now we want to iterate this into the component so the fetch api is fetching the data from the api endpoint okay and now use effect will allow us to render that dynamic data or response data onto the browser okay so now what we need to do as the next thing that we need to go to the browser and refresh our page to see that 
whether we are getting all the questions written by the api call or not okay so let's switch to the browser okay so now let's refresh the page okay and here you can see that we are still seeing all the questions okay even we are not we have commented this question list now if you wish you can remove this question list component from uh, sorry not the question list component you can remove this dummy question list from your question list component okay and still if you save this and refresh your browser you can see all the questions here okay and you can verify it by that we are using the console.log data into our fetch question list method so let's inspect the element and into the console here you can see that method is returning the data okay so array of 16 so now if you refresh the page again you will see that you are getting 16 element array and these are not the 16 element these are just the data returned by the rails api endpoint okay and here you can see that id one title how to check if a key is present in hash tag created it updated it and so on okay and that's all from this lecture so in this lecture what we covered that we covered various things like using fetch api to fetch data from the rest apis using use effect to render the fetched data on the browser okay so just try this lecture at your end and let me know if you feel any doubt or anything not works at your end just keep only thing in mind that to be more better practice this as much as you can okay and let me show you the question list component again so here let's summarize that what we did so first we imported the use state and use effect tech, uh, libraries here hooks here sorry <laughs> not libraries hooks here and then we implemented the fetch question list method where we use the fetch api to get the response data from the rails api and then we use the use effect to render this updated question list into the browser okay and we did not change anything into the jsx okay so we just make changes into the states and use state and use effect hooks and then implement the fetch api okay so thank you for watching this and let's meet into another lecture till then tata goodbye take care and stay safe